from the GA to Peggy Sapali. Ngi chogo ze kulu sila lo ngi lo chisa mtu uspambi lwe shango nengi kule pixa wo mshu ni choma yema nange eko. The Shiro Minister of Transport, Honorable Chris Hansinger, ngi lo chisa nischawa soke. Chapasen, according to State's SA, 16.3% of the average household's monthly income is spent on transport. This is contained in the Living uh, Conditions Survey of 2014-15 and it paints a bleak picture of the average spending patterns of South Africans, especially the poor and lower income households. The Department of Transport is failing dismally to lessen this burden on the poor. If this was a government led by the Democratic Alliance, the Department of Transport would be doing everything in its power to improve the mobility challenges faced by all South Africans. To date, this is not the case. Currently, the situation Chair, is deteriorating House Chair. and it is becoming near impossible for House South Africans. Uh, Honorable Mabena, Mabena, can you take Tlalapant. your seat? On, on what route? E Elongu, Elishwani Pekla, Yoling, Autata Umbuzo, Kukwinde Shisibunzi. Oh, you are. But you are from what you are doing, Autata Umbuzo, Tlonishwa Mabena? No, I won't take the question. He's not taking the question? Thank you. Thank you. To Continue. date, this is not the case. Currently, the situation is deteriorating and it's becoming impossible for South Africans to mitigate the high cost of transport. Chairperson, the impact that efficient transport has on the ability of all South Africans to maximize their opportunities and reach their full potential can never be overstated. It is for this reason that we believe that our approach to public transport and mobility of citizens should always seek to advance their aspirations. We should seek to connect communities and the world in a way that is a catalyst for development rather than a stumbling block to their results. Amashelo was of two tashelege wushe aleta amatu bo msebenzi atutugi se neleba mobility beko to ashanga nisa ni mparat. Not only that, but it is also a key driver for economic development and transformation. Chairperson, the Department of Transport Annual Performance Plan for the period 2019-20 falls short of adequately addressing the above disparities in a balanced and efficient manner. In fact, the Minister of Transport, Figil Mbalula, and his department have proposed to spend 463 million rands on consultants and business advisory services, which is up from 381 million rands in the previous financial year. We can only guess which cadres are going to be at the receiving end of this windfall, to the detriment of all South Africans. This amount, close to half a billion rand, should instead be used to maintain existing railway infrastructure. Chairperson, another dream that has been shattered is the Muloto Railway Corridor. The Department of Transport has no funded plan whatsoever to implement this project. The Muloto Railway Corridor was nothing but a pipe dream. While the Minister Mbalula sells pipe dreams to, poo, to the people, his department chose to channel 463 million rands via the express gravy train corridor to consultants, despite the cabinet resolution to reduce the spending on such consultants. Chairperson, another nightmare in the in this regime of dreams, continues to be the Etolls. The Gauteng Freeway Improvement Project continues to haunt the citizens of Gauteng. The truth is that the ANC uses Etolls for political expediency and to play on the emotions of all Gauteng residents, especially during election campaigning time. It is time to do the right thing and take decisive action and scrap Etolls and stop this thing of tweeting to each other. The annual performance plan of the department further notes that Sandral has shifted money meant for critical maintenance of the non, of the non toll road network to the unsustainable Gauteng Freeway Improvement Pro Project. The state of our provincial and national roads is, is in complete decay. Our roads have left our citizens prone to more accidents with a loss of lives on a regular basis. Yet the department takes away money meant to service roads in Pumalanga and channels it straight to it all. This nonsense must come to an end. We must each and shift our focus to maintaining our provincial and national roads. Chairperson, in conclusion, it is worth noting that of all the 13 cities that are implementing the bus rapid transit system, four of them are in DA-led municipalities, being the city of Tuane, city of Tuanisberg, and, uh, and George. That is the DA difference. We put the interest of all South Africans first. Ngiatogos, Bayate. Se a chogo zambutum.